Uh, so let's start here. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today, thank you for attending, and thank you once again to fxstreet.com to give me the opportunity to speak. My name is Telmo Pinto, I'm the founder and director of market operations at Intuition Trading Group. For those who aren't familiar, we are a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time and unified trading solutions for investors. Um, for those who are new to the In The Money series webinars, um, they, our previous uh, webinars, they are recorded and you can find them on the fxtreet.com website. Um, it's preferable uh, to see them in order to know the tools I use uh, to define our entry and exit levels of the market. Uh, so when we have time, it's, it's good to watch them, okay? So before we start here, it's important to, to read some parts here of the disclaimer. Uh, just tell that any alerts or any trades uh, I, I advise here do during the webinars, they are not a solicitation to invest and you should carefully consider your financial situation prior to making any investment. Uh, it's preferable you seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. Okay. So, for those who don't know, uh, we have um, um, a service, an automated trading signal services. They are automated to the MT4 platform. Uh, you can see more details on the website on the slides. Um, as an fx3.com user, uh, you have a 10% discount on the fees. Um, just to know that our um, average on low risk profile is about 5% per month, this is exception, uh, with relatively low drawdown. Uh, you can see more details of the statistics on our website too at intuitiontrading.com. So please go there and see what you are doing at the markets. Maybe they are good to insert into your portfolio. Okay. So let me open here the platform. Was curious because last Thursday I alert, I give a pattern here. Uh, just to tell that uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to to type them on the chat or on the questions and answers tab. I'm more than willing to answer to them. Okay, so today, <clears throat> as you know, I, I watch the market with the rank of our charts and market sentiment indicators. I don't use any type of indicators because I don't, I prefer pure price action, okay, because price is what leads the market, okay. Other indicators, they are all lagging indicators, so if we, if we begin trading with price, we are leading the market with the indicators we are lagging in the market. So I prefer to watch with rank of our charts. Um, here we have the 21 pips, 34 pips and 55 pips. Let's begin here with the 34 pips. Last Thursday I alert for this, this is the Euro SD pair, okay. Last Thursday I alert here for this level, and this was a pattern, okay, that mm, I, mm, I usually trade this pattern, or if I am in an opposite trade that the pattern revealed to me, I will be alert to close that pattern. And that pattern is a failure of the close of the bar. Let me zoom here. As you can see here, Okay, the price at this bar, let me do the annotation here, okay, let me, okay, 
if you can see here, this bar, okay, this bar here failed to close at that level, okay? This was the level that the bar need to close. And the failure was about one and a half pips. So I alert this on Thursday prior to the non-farm payrolls, and we observe that with a um, with a Wanda order book, we'll go there next, okay? But I alert for this failure, and what this failure usually means, okay? And about more than 90% of the time, means that market do a failure to close the bar and reverse the trend or the uh, retracement that market was making. And you can see the years, we have this down move, okay, up move, another down move, and that this was a second test to the level, okay? The test didn't happen, and the failure was about 1.5 pips, like I told you, this is a 34 pips Renko bar chart. And I alert for this situation for at least market needed to come to this level here, okay? Although market not only goes to that level, that reverse the trend from that level, okay? And we are now, we have break, okay, the, sh the, the range that market was doing since September, okay? Since September, the year OSD was doing 128, 130, 70 area, more or less, okay? Or 131, when, um, they went to 130, 131, 70 area, sorry. 128, 131, 70 area. So, not only market fail to retest that level here, okay, fail the retest, come down, and then decide to go further down. I alert for this possible entry, okay, I, I enter short about at this level here, because the pattern was telling me is that, and let me clean here the, the annotation so to show you, what pattern, this pattern telling me, is that when we see these failures, and let me go here to another failures, when we see these failures, okay, we have at least two bars. So if we enter here, that was our entry, and our entry is the, uh, a break of the previous close, okay, we have at least a one to two risk ratio. So we are risking about one, one bar and a half, but we are making, we are possible making one bar here, uh, two bars here, sorry. We have here another pattern, okay? We have here another pattern, okay? We have here another pattern, here another one, okay? Let me show you more. Okay, this was the mainly that we can see from August. Okay, this is a 34 pips. Okay, but when you see these patterns, it's important you be alert. In this case, if you are long here, and I was long at this level, okay, I enter long with a 21 pips chart. When I see these failures, I close my trades at this level okay, at 130 level, more or less, okay, and reverse my trades, because I know that market at least will go to this level here, or at a higher, high probability that market could go to that level, okay. Market was trying to developing another pattern that I show you here, but let me show you, okay, we have here another one. 
market was trying to develop in, for instance, we have here that pattern, okay, we have a down here, up, down, up, then, and then a break, okay, the break was here. If you saw here, market went up, made another low, then if market goes to that level, then retracement and then break, we could have new hikes, although market was deciding to go lower. So, we only need the price to make our trades, and we only need to master one pattern, okay, in order to be successful on the market. When I see, for instance, um, plenty of indicators, okay, on the charts, that remembers me a, a flashlight on the on the on the disco. <laughs> um, I feel that traders are trying, instead of seeking entry and exit levels, they are trying to avoid those entries. And when I'm saying trying to avoid is when they have a losing trade, they will put another indicator or another rule that can avoid that losing trade. Okay? So, if you put one more indicator, then one more indicator, then one more indicator, what you will have, you will have an untrading system. Because those indicators will remove the high probabilities of some patterns you, you might have, okay, or entries you might have. On a trading system, um, I speak of this in the, in the, in the monthly webinar, okay, regarding the how to develop a trading system, you only need to have two things, a trend indicator, um, sorry, a trend director and a trade activator, okay? You can use multiple time sh uh, frames like I used to, for instance, I use the 21, the 34, and the 55 pips, okay? In order to develop my trends, I always look for lower hikes or higher lows in the develop on the trends, okay? And the trade activator is simple. You have this pattern, for instance, you have here one pattern that gives you an entry. You have here another pattern, okay, that can give a break entry. Here you have another that can give you a break entry, okay. Here you have the failure pattern, okay. So you need to master only one pattern in order to be profitable on the market. There's no need plenty of indicators. Okay? But let's focus here on the pair. Tomorrow we'll have the, the, the US elections. Uh, I saw today in the morning that Romney and uh, Barack Obama, they were pretty even, okay? On the on the on the on the pre-election, okay, statistics. So um, <coughs> uh, the market is somehow revealing the stress the elections are feeling. If you saw, uh, okay, on Friday, the U.S. markets drop. The gold drop heavily, okay, about thirty. $30, okay, that means <coughs> the U.S., the USD is stronger, okay. You can have, you have a relation on gold and U.S. dollar very, very close. When you see a heavy drop on the, do uh, on the, uh, on the dollar, you might see or you, you will see um, a jump on the gold. The opposite applies, okay? 
So that in congestion lead the USD pairs to go down. Like for instance the Euro SD finally break the 128 level. Okay, this 128 level. For now, what we can expect is market trying to retest the break, the 128.10, the 128.20 area. Okay, that is my view, my view now for market, and we can go here to the 21 pips, is a more volatile. Okay, we have here the break, okay, 121. So, market after this continuation, okay, of they, they make here a new entry, then small retracement, then the break, then we can expect here to come to this level, even market goes to the one. 128.40, 30, 40 level. This is not indication that okay price might go up because we have here this first resistance. Okay, only a break of this level can put us. Okay, market can go further higher. Okay, so the levels to retain now, okay, is the 128. 10, 20 area, then the 128, 30, 40 level area, okay? If you see that euro is capable to go above, let's say, if can go to 128.50, okay, you can see that markets maybe are willing to go and test to the 129 level, okay? Okay, I'm going there. I'm going there. I am Solman. That is, I, I will answer your question quickly. Let me finish here. So these are the levels, and you can see on the charts, you have all information we need. Okay, we see, we saw here that the first resistance now is the 128.10.20 area. Then we have the 128.40 area, and if market break that area, we can think, okay, market wants to go up and can go and test the 129 level. So, if you are not short on the market and you want to, to seek a, a good point to entry short on the market, you can, if you are, okay, a, a median risk trader, okay, you can enter here when you see market at 128.10 area. If you are a more conservative one, you can wait market go to the 128.30 area and enter short there, okay? On the 10, you are risking about 40 pips, okay? On the 30, you are risking about 20 pips. If you reverse there, if you put your stop here, okay, then you can go to break even if you made this trade to that level. So this is the levels for the re-enter on the short. Okay, if go up from here, okay, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable short if I see market breaking the 128.50 level. I prefer to or close my trades or reverse my trades for long. I don't want to be long at 128.50 area. Okay? On the short side, the targets for me are very clear. Okay? And now I'm going to the 55 pips chart as you can see, is a longer chart, and you can see clearly a failure here. Let me do the annotation. You can see clearly a failure here. Okay, a failure of this 
trying a move, they fail to test the top, another failure their pattern, market went down, break this level, and we can expect market go to, sorry, let me, I prefer to, it is okay. We can expect market go at least to this level. And this level is 127 level. Below that, we have the 126.50 level. That, if market continues to down, is my target for this swing trade that we are doing now. Okay? Just to answer the Hamed Solman um, question, a good non-farm payrolls number, the euro has they fail because the good non-farm payrolls number is good for the US dollar. So if it's good for the US the dollar or the US economy, of course the cross pairs will go down. Okay? So there's nothing too much okay to to say about that. Okay? If dollar up, the euro go down and all or the cross pairs go down, probably. Okay? So we have a good non-farm payrolls number, although the, these non-farm payrolls um, and the previous one, <coughs> sorry, and um, the, the, the previous one were very um, different than the others. And some are not, um, they think they are not true, okay? They are not accurate. And they intend to leave that this is due to the U.S. elections, the closed U.S. elections. Uh, as you know, during the Sandy, uh, the hurricane, uh, this non farm payrolls number, uh, and due to the, the U.S. equities, the U.S. markets were closed, they even think that um, they will not announce those numbers if the market was closed. Uh, but the force of the elections and everything went okay with the markets, uh, they were open, so they put, they announced the, 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 the non-farm payrolls number. So the point here is, okay, good non-farm payrolls number is good for dollar, so the arrow will drop, okay? Um, I thought the good and fine is good for risk assets, euro. Yes, they are. Let, let me explain you. The non farm payrolls, they are good for risky assets, okay? Uh, although this non farm payrolls number may lead to a recovery of the US economy, okay? So when you are analyzing the fundamentals, we need to see both parts of the balance, okay? So, it is on farm payrolls, it's good for economy, so it's good for economy, it's good for US dollars, okay? On the other hand, like you saw, the gold drop heavily, okay? And this drop heavily was because they were out of the concerns about the the bad time that U.S. economy is passing through, and the USD going up. So uh, you need you need to analyze, okay, uh, when you trade or when you analyze the fundamental information. Um, they are not so simple, okay. Uh, and the non-farm payrolls uh, have these tricks, like I told, tricks in order to trade. That's why it's the most volatile um, news announcements, okay? Because they can lead to risk assets to go up, okay? If the non-farm payrolls are near the limit or below the limit, okay? But these were very good numbers. And these very good numbers, uh, prior to the, 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 the U.S. economy situation, will leave the market for sure 
to understand that the U.S. economy is recovering. So it's recovering, is good for USD, U.S. dollar, and it's good for U.S. dollar. The cross pairs need to go down. So I hope I explain from WinRunner uh, where I can get the BRICS AI. Well, this <coughs> for the MT4 platform, uh, you can see uh, or you can attend to uh, our record webinars. The first ones were dedicated to the rank of our charts. You can see that on the fx3.com recorded webinar section uh, or area, and uh, you see that all information. If you trade with other platforms like Ninja Trader or TradeStation or MultiSharts, they are built in, okay? But on the MT4 platform, <coughs> Sorry, this is a emulation. Okay, so from Fuji, I agree with you. However, that's just reached to thousand. Okay, the, with that said, and there I should see some patch up. Okay, but regarding DEX, the US dollar index is curious because the US dollar index, yes, they reached the, the, the 2000, uh, the 200 moving average. Sorry. Although, the current situation on the U.S. market, if you see, let me open here, okay, let me open here, because you can see the correlation I do with the, U, the EURUSD and the US2 on the monthly webinar, I do about the correlation, okay, let me open here, the index, okay, you can see here, let me put here the daily, okay. We can analyze this simply, okay? We have here three failures, okay, on the down, and you can analyze this with the bars, okay? It's simple. After that, or besides that, we can draw here, and you can see that, let me do the annotation now, and you can see that price on the U.S. equities, okay, this is the Standard & Poor's 500, okay, made the rejection at that area, okay, and drop, okay, you can see, you can drop here, sorry, you can, you can drop there, as you can see, market made a rejection of this area, okay, here, made a rejection, okay, Touch, touch, you have here the break, consolidation, then a retest, and then go down. It's important, this is a confluence area, okay, this is very tough area to trade, okay, this is a confluence area, and I think this confluence area will be, um, okay, will be dispersed when we have the elections tomorrow, okay. Although the level important, is we have too many, okay, here, the level important is this level here, the one, the one, the ninth forever, okay, 395 is the important level, the 95 level is the important level, okay, if you see the US, the, the standard pools drop this level, for sure, the US dollar index will break that level. Okay, we'll break the 200 moving average. Okay. And you'll see the arrow will continue to drop uh, and probably will reach the 126.50 area. Okay, so the elections are really important for the market. One hand, we have the, the, the candidate Romney that, okay, during do his business background, okay, they think that if Romney wins, the U.S. dollar will go up, and with that we can have some, okay, some drop on the <coughs> on the equities. Okay. On the other hand, if Barack Obama wins, we can have a weakness of the U.S. dollar. Okay, and more confluence area in the market equities. Okay. So these are all correlated. Okay, there's no doubt that all international markets, they are all correlated.
and this is the level that the, okay, the big players or the retail traders are looking, okay, although the break that we saw, let me stop the annotation here, the break that we saw on the euro, this break, okay, from Sunday, this break was traders telling that, okay, even Romney or even Barack Obama wins or whatever, the euro hadn't, or have not strong enough, let me put here the 55, so we can see, strong enough to hold this level here. Okay. This is the important level for the euro. Okay? And you see here another failure of the bars here. We have one at the top here, and we have another failure there. So when I saw this failure here, I alert here for Thursday that market high probability is to go down and, okay, we observe the continuation of the downtrend, okay, or a possible downtrend is emerging here. But from this up move, even market goes to 126.50 area, this is about 50% of retracement of this up move, okay? From this up move, even if you saw a market here, this is about 50% retracement. So, we can see market go down here and then go up again. So, this drop on the euro will not put in risk the uptrend that market is developing since July. Okay, this move, this moves here. Okay, even go down. These moves, even a drop to that level, okay, even a drop to 126.50 uh, area, will not evaluate. It's about 50% of the whole move. And the market can make this 50% without any problems, okay? Although, if you are a short-term trader, we will not trade, okay, the, uh, 55 pips. You can have trades here, okay, for about one month, one month and a half, okay? If you are a mid-long-term trader, you can trade this. Although you are, you are, you, you have to be short at the moment, Okay, in here, but be alert for this first level here that market can reach, this first level here, and then the 126.50 area. If we see a break of the 126.50 area, then the longs okay, are in bad shape. Okay, if you see a break, and I'm going to show you here now, let me stop sharing this. We will go to the, uh, okay, let me open here a new, sorry, let me open here a new window in my, okay, sharing application. Yes, this is what I want to share. Let's go here to the order book. If you see here, let me put this on English. If you see here, it's clearly that, what you can see here, is clearly that the charts are completely in agreement with the order book. We have this level here, the 126.20, 126.50 area are the levels where the majority of the traders are willing to give up or, sorry, to give up from the long trades. If you can see here, the stops are here. The stops now are at 126.50 area first, and then 126.20. The majority are at 126.20. On the other side, 
the majority of the traders are at 132.50 area. So we have about 600 pips different, okay, from the majority of the short of the long stops and the short stops. This is at 132.50 level. Let me put here short so orders only. This here, this blue. Let me do with another color. This blue here, okay, that I draw here at yellow, that stops. We are seeing this more than, okay, one month and two weeks, one month and a half, okay. Those at 132.50 level. These are the stops for traders that enter short around 131.70 area, 131.50 or 131. Okay, we don't know. We don't know that. But um, that is the level that the short traders that hold all these up and down moves, all these range, are willing to give up from the short trades. Now that market is, is coming down, we'll see that the long traders that enter during this range expecting a break of the new hike have the stops at 126.50 area. Okay. So, this separate area is an extremely high range. Okay, market need to define here uh, even if you go to the 126, 50, 126.20 area, we'll have another. But these are the levels of the, um, the, the high, okay, the more, uh, the medium term traders, okay, medium to long term traders. These levels are really important, we know in advance, in order to see, okay, these are the levels where price might reverse or might break. Okay? So, if you know these levels in advance, as we can know during, we have the tools for that, we know that, okay, if we are short, if you are long at this, at this moment, okay, which is completely contrary of what market is doing, but okay, if you are long, um, or you put your stop below the last pivot, that is about 126.70 area, but that is a no man's land area. Market can go there because market is clearly on downtrend now, okay? Uh, but if you are a medium long-term trader, you'll need to put your stop below the 126.20 area because you know that market can go there, to 126, 20 area, 50, 20 area, and then reverse up, eat that stops, and then go up again. Okay? Right now, at the current market situation, what we have is that the market creates some balance here on the last drop. Market creates some balance of the price. Okay, as you can see, this is Sunday opening more or less. The majority of the traders are long. And we, we know that we need to be uh, with a contrary opinion about the majority of the markets, of the, of, the, of the retail traders, okay? If the majority are long, we have a high probability that market will go down. If the majority are short on the market, we have high probability that market will go up. Because we need to think and make a, a simple question. Who will lose more money? Will be the buyers or will be the sellers? Okay? So, in this case, completely the, the, the buyers. So, market then drop down and create here some balance below the breaking level, the 128 level. So now what we have is, okay, we have new sellers entering in the market, 127.80, 127.60 area till 128, 
although the stops from this okay are real sorry are really near the stops from these traders are really near and probably we'll see market go to 128 or even 128 a 20 30 area so if you are not short and you want to to see the best the best possible entry level like I alert is the 128.10 first and then 128.20 and 30 level because market will most probably go to that level or if you want to add some positions if you add positions in your system if you add a rule to add positions market on the retracements of a trade you add positions okay and you are scaling your trade then market go up okay and then when reverse you close all positions that can happen too for having positions you have the 128 10 128 20 30 area okay it's about 30 pips there you can choose the best level to enter okay because market will probably go there although I think that market will go there and then will go further down but it will all depends of tomorrow elections and the US markets too today I think the US markets will remain okay probably unchanged a little lower a little higher okay because they are really expecting what we what will going next there are no clear decision on the elections okay they are tight Romney and Barack Obama they are tight okay so they want to see um, a better definition okay in order to define uh, where to enter or where market might go might go okay so these are the levels we need to you need to be alert or we as I, I be alert too I'm I'm currently short at the market my stop is above the 128 40 level 50 level is around that level but I expect that market will go further down if market goes for instance to 128 25 30 level I might add some positions okay to continue the short move okay, but that will depend from the market too so this is the information we currently have from the order book which is good okay for those who are short for those who are long are not very good okay you need to be alert for a, a possible reverse for instance if you are long at the market if you are making a counter trend trade you know that market can go to 128 10 20 30 and that that level reverse so you, if you are long and you do a counter trend trading you can exit your trades there or close partial profits see if market are willing to go further up okay and put your stop at, sorry your stop at break even you do partial profits and your stop at break even then you you want on a run free trade okay if market go up you collect more profits if market go down okay you win in partial and you close your rest at break even so that is regarding your money management and is up to your system too so these are the levels we need to be alert okay uh, we will have another webinar uh, on Friday I expect the market will move further from this okay we have about one and a half months of ranging so market needs to to clean that range now and when market clean the, those range is to to have uh, okay um, a huge moves we begin to see a, a good short trade on the euro but I think that might be only the beginning or if market go up and have a, a strong reverse up okay so let me answer here another question for Ahmed Solman if the longs are the trader who was losing more money why the market needs to go down there should be fewer short trades um, why the market needs to go down okay if, if they are long on the market 
market needs to go down for them to close the trades. Okay. Few short trades. Uh, yes, there are few short trades. That's why market will not go at once go down. If you see here, I'm going let me show you on the on the platform just to finish here too. Okay. Let me open here the platform to show you better. Okay, let me, we can go to the 21 pips chart. Okay, you are short. Market, okay, can go, like I told during the webinar, market can go to the 128.10, 128.20, 30 area. Okay, this will bring, in my opinion, more buyers to the market, okay, that feed the market in order then market could go further down, okay. Market needs to feed, okay, and the only way to feed is go up and down, up and down, levels for investors entering in the trade. So, you have this move, this was nine bars precisely, and if you, if you attend to previous webinars, you know that markets usually move in two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven or thirty bars. You have here a perfect nine bars down, okay? Market can go, even can go to 128.30 level, that will not put us out of our short trade, only if we break that. But in this up move, we are talking about 50, 60 pips. This will bring more buyers to the market. And you can observe that on the Forex order book, okay, on the one order book. If market go there, you will probably see more buyers entering the market. And these buyers, are the ones that, okay, expecting that, okay, market hit the bottom now and markets are, are now going up and will continue to go up, okay? And that is the mentality that is hard to say, but the mentality of the losing trader F, okay? Market is going down. We'll see that market in the, is in a short trade. Why, to, why try to catch a falling knife? Okay? We'll be hurt for sure. So instead of trying to buying, why will not seek levels, okay? Or we don't define levels to enter with the market. And to enter with the market is to enter short in the market. Okay? If we lose, okay, we lose. But the probability now is market to go a little up, okay, make here some retracement, and then continue further down. And trading is a, probabil is a probability business, okay? We need to put the probability at our side, or the higher probability. And the higher probability now is that market will continue to go down. There's no limits to the market. When I say some people, okay, market will move maximum uh, 100 pips or 200 pips, that is not true at all. Back in 2007, I saw the Euro SD uh, jump 300 pips in five seconds. So, where is the, the rational move there? This was due uh, a U.S. Um, drop in the, in, the, in the rates, okay, was the first drop of this cycle. No one was expecting that and was a 50 basis points move and arrow jump 300 pips in five seconds. So there is no limits for the market. You saw, uh, okay, uh, in the beginning of this year, a huge jump on the Swiss franc, an intervention of the bank. That was about 1,000 pips. Okay, in a couple of in two hours. So, there's no limits for the market. Okay, 
And right now, we can see that market is clearly on a down move or on a downtrend. So why try to catch a falling knife? Okay, if we lose here, okay, we catch. There's no catch tops or bottoms. Okay, I, w I will go finish now. There's no try to catch bottoms or tops, okay? You can have some trades that, for instance, here, when you see this inefficiency of the price, like, for, for instance, here on the 34 pips, okay? If you see here an inefficiency of the price, okay, if you are, okay, an aggressive trader or more aggressive trader, you see that price is going down, you wait there about 10, 50 pips, then you see that market try to retest and then go down, you can enter, okay, and you find the bottom, the, the top of the market by 3, 4 pips. But right now, trying to seek a long trade, for me, is not, is not rational at all. And that's why the majority of the traders lose money. And you see on the order book that the majority of the traders are long and will stay long, okay? Because they, they expect it, okay, this might be the bottom. Okay, this might be the bottom. The question here is not finding tops and bottoms, okay, on the, on the market. It's trying to find high probability trades and best levels to enter. Right now, the best trades you might have is expecting a retracement of the, if you are not short already, expect a retracement of the price, okay, and then enter short. If you lose, you lose, but you don't lose against the major market moves. You lose because, okay, market was reversing, because the first entry was clearly at this level here. I alert for that too, okay? And you are already short. So, I'm going to call a session here. Let me open only this. I hope you all have enjoyed the session, okay? Um, next Friday, we'll have here the, the In The Money webinar. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at tradingdesk at intuitiontrading.com. Go to fxfree.com website, okay, and to see our services. Uh, you can go to our website too, intuitiontrading.com, and see what we do. Uh, I hope you all uh, have enjoyed the session. Uh, have a rest, a good rest of week, and enjoyable trading, of, of course. So, See you on Friday. Bye. Thank you very much.